Hi there. So this is a uh, brand new tutorial. It's Stutter by Darren Chris. Very popular song from a Very Potter sequel. Um, involves a bunch of bar chords and a lot of palm muting, and I'll get into all of that soon. Um, I'm gonna start by showing you the chords, and then we'll get to the strumming. So then, uh, the verse and chorus of the song both start in F sharp minor up here at the ninth fret then we go down to an E two frets to the left and then an E over a C sharp E over C sharp and then we go to a B minor 7 C sharp flat 13 to a C sharp 7 That's, that one's actually an optional I guess so you can just do this to that sharp minor. Up to you. Um, then we have a pre-chorus, which starts on a D major seven, followed by a C sharp minor seven, and then a C sharp seven, and then we go to the chorus, which is exactly the same as the verse. Same chords. Okay. And then the bridge starts on a B minor, then an F sharp minor, C sharp minor, then it goes to an E minor, A, and then we go to D major 7. C sharp minor 7, B minor 7, back up to C sharp minor 7, for ending on a D major 7 again. Okay, so that takes care of all the chords. Now, showing you how to play it. Um, it's a very peculiar kind of strumming. What you want to do, I'll do it step by step. With your left hand, you're going to be mimicking um, the rhythm that you hear. By doing that, you have to press down the whole chord with your four fingers three times. One, two, three. The right strumming hand is going down, palm muting down again up before palm muting down again and then a strum down and then after that you can add a little palm mute so all together it's a little faster okay down up We do the same for the rest of the chords. Now this E right here, I like to play it without the octave. You can do that by putting your index 7th fret, ring finger on the 9th fret of the D string right there, uh, muting the G string, and then putting your pinky on the 9th fret of the B string. So you get that nice sound. And for the E over C sharp, just take your middle finger and place it on the 9th fret on the low E string. Okay. Your B minor 7 is just adding your pinky at the 10th fret of the B string. So if you know this, B minor 7 regular, just add that pinky. Before going to this C sharp 13, which is... 9, mute, 9, 10, 10. And then the C sharp 7 is 9, mute, 9, 10, 9. Okay. And that little uh, switch right there, which starts on the B minor 7, goes like this.
Okay. That's basically real slow is down, down, um, down, up, up, down. On the down, you go to this chord. Down, up, up, down. Another time down for the C sharp seven before going up to this F sharp minor. Okay, and the pre-chorus are all down strums, so a D major 7, C sharp minor 7, before going to this rapid strumming on the C sharp 7, down, up, down, up, down, up, down, you, know, you can hear it, and before, uh, after that you go to an F sharp minor, of course, and it's the same as the verse pretty much. in the words to that. Oh, don't you tell me no mistake over again. Ten out of ten. Sorry, did I just start up? Oh, don't you tell me no again. You were never my friend. You were never my, you were never my lover. For that, you can just like do it. You were never my one down strum before smacking it with your palm. And then another one. And that should take us to the bridge. It starts in the B minor. It's all down strums. I know that I could be better. Then the F sharp minor. Another down strum for the C sharp minor. Those are all down strums. Before we go to an E minor. One, two, three. So that's down, 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 palm mute, down, up. And same thing for the A7, or A, whatever you prefer. D major 7 is 5, 7, uh, 6, 7. C sharp minor 7 is 4, 6, 4, 5. Take that shape and move it down 2 frets to the B minor 7. Okay. Um, so that should pretty much take care of that. And we also have some solos um, that I was requested to do. There's one, there's actually two that you can try and you can put them on anywhere in the song. There's one where he starts up here on the F sharp these are bar chords, uh, by the way, so you'll only be hearing the first and the octave. So, down, up, up, down. Then you go to the 11th fret, 12th fret, and then 11th fret. Then we come back to 9 before going to 7. 9, 11, 9, and then we go back to 7 before going up to 12, and then 11. And all, toge all together should sound like this. Excuse me. Okay. Um, another one, another solo you can try out. It starts. It's basically like the same, the same chords as the verse but you're going to add a sus4 to every one of these chords. So what I would recommend for that sharp minor is you just put your first finger here on the 9th fret, meet out the rest, um, put your middle finger on the 10th fret 
of the B string and you put your ring finger on the 11th fret of the, uh, the D string. And then you mute the G and the E. And every time I uh, strum it, this is like in between the verses, I guess, like you strum it and you add uh, your pinky two frets over wherever the middle finger is, I guess, you know, or in this case. Two frets over. So that E right there, the pinky moves over one fret. Same thing for that chord. And that one you just keep the same. So yeah, there's a bunch of things you can try out with this song. Um, I think I covered everything, right? Oh yeah, the beginning, you know, to make things easier for you guys, you could just strum down three times. And then slapping it, of course. And then same thing with the other chords. All down strums. And then for like the next part of the verse, you can start like actually, you know, getting into the song with the, the rhythm I taught you already. The trick to this song, like the strumming, is to keep your hand constantly, constantly moving. So like, like you don't hear like, you know, you hear like the little mute. If you can hear that. Yeah. So, you know, just keep it, that hand const constantly moving and you should be good. Um, I think that's pretty much everything. So, um, I guess I'll see you guys some other time.